In the following demonstration, I'm going to show you how I use the 3D ball brush and the box brush to select complicated areas like wires and towers. I'm going to zoom into an area uh, that is quite complicated. We have trees in the back. We have a lot of different lines here. I'm going to start out using the ball brush. And with that, I can start selecting just a wire here. And what we're going to see is as I move down through the line here, it's selecting just the wire and it's not touching the other features behind it. Now I'm moving a little slow so that, so that you could see it in the video. As I still come down here, uh, we see here that it is still selecting the wire. It's not selecting the wires in the front. So I'm able to come all the way down here and only select this part. We see that's the second wire there. I'm going to do the same with this third wire as well and I'm just moving right along. I hold the mouse down this whole time. It works like a paintbrush. So I'm just moving along the point cloud and I can come down this way. I don't need to be really careful of where I'm selecting because even if I select out here it's not going to select anything. And we'll do this for this line as well. I come down. It's not selecting any trees within the background. Only what I'm looking to capture. Let's complete this line. Now if you ever miss a spot, you just come back through it. And I'll go this far for now. We see that we selected those wires. I have a layer here called Lines. Now I'm able to right click and say Move Selected to the layer. If I go into another layer now, turn off those lines, we see that they disappear and they're no longer part of my model turn them back on very easily. I'm going to show you now using the box brush and with the box brush I'm just going to grab a part of here. Now we see it's not that large so I'm going to hold the mouse wheel down and stretch this outward so that we see it, it gives me a bigger region for selecting. That now allows me to go down through here and I'm just doing a big selection I'm just grabbing everything here. We'll go this way as well and I can come down here. This is just live. It's grabbing all the points within the area that I want. Now I did get a little sloppy there and we see that I did grab some of those wires as I was moving since I am using such a large cubed area here. But that's not a problem because I can come back with my polygon and say that I want to deselect and I'm just going to deselect these items. I could also use the ball brush to deselect if for some reason I want to remove something that's been selected. Uh, for example, up here we see some of the wires there, so I'm able to remove them as well. Now that I have those selected, I'm going to right click and say move to this layer, the tower. If I make my tower the active one and turn off everything in the background, uh, we see there I have my lines and my tower. Uh, it was a nice easy way to isolate that without having to cut things up. This concludes my demonstration.